For the first time since her re-election, President Tsai Ing-wen on Thursday received AIT Chairman James Moriarty at the presidential office. At the reception, Tsai thanked the U.S. House of Representatives for unanimously passing the Taipei Act. If enacted into law, the bill would authorize the U.S. State Department to reduce economic, security and diplomatic engagement with countries that undermine Taiwan. The act also calls on Washington to support Taiwan's participation in international organizations as a member or observer. To reduce the risk of infection, President Tsai bows instead of shaking hands with her guests. In his first visit to Taiwan since Tsai's re-election, the AIT chairman praised Taiwan's coronavirus containment measures. Taiwan's measured, transparent and evidence-based approach to containing this disease is a testament to the strength of its democratic system. It also underscores for the whole world to see the value that Taiwan can bring to international organizations. Taiwan is willing and able to work side by side with the international community and contribute even more to fight the disease. We thank the Trump administration for approving five arms sales packages to Taiwan. We also hope that Taiwan and the United States will be able to sign a bilateral trade agreement. Moriarty expressed hope for even stronger Taiwan-U.S. ties in Tsai's second term. During President Tsai's second term, we will redouble our efforts to expand Taiwan's participation on the global stage. Just hours ago, the U.S. House of Representatives passed the Taipei Act with 415 votes in favor and zero opposed. We are grateful that our friends in the Congress expressed their concrete support for Taiwan's efforts in securing our diplomatic relations, participating in international organizations, and enhancing Taiwan-U.S. trade relations. President Tsai thanked the U.S. House of Representatives for unanimously passing the Taipei Act. The act, also known as the Taiwan Allies International Protection and Enhancement Initiative Act, calls on the U.S. to consider making changes to its economic security or diplomatic engagements with nations that take serious or significant actions to undermine Taiwan. It also asks the U.S. to support Taiwan's membership in international organizations in which members are not required to be sovereign nations and to help Taiwan gain observer status in other organizations. On the economic and trade front, the legislation calls on the office of the U.S. Trade Representative to negotiate stronger economic ties between Taiwan and the U.S. The yeas are 415, the nays are zero. The bill is... The Taipei Act had already passed the U.S. Senate last year on October 29th. But because the House made light revisions to the legislation, the version it passed must now return to the Senate for a vote before it's sent to the desk of the U.S. President. If it's signed into effect, it would mark a diplomatic breakthrough for President Tsai at the very start of her second term.